Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, Honorable Members of Parliament present, Permanent Secretary, all service chiefs who are present, members of the police authority, all political and religious leaders who are with us today, senior security officers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, it is an enormous privilege for me to once again be standing here to welcome you to the police training school Kabale for this 23rd pass out ceremony. On behalf of the Uganda Police Force and on my own behalf, I express my deepest gratitude to Your Excellency for always sparing time to be with us whenever needed most. As the Uganda Police Force, we are grateful that you have again graciously honored our invitation. Sir, also permit me to welcome the Honorable Minister and all other dignitaries who have turned up to witness this memorable event. We wish to specially recognize and thank you for the untiring opportunities, financial support, and guidance that enabled us to transform, instruct, and nurture these men and women to the end products which we see before us today, despite the current economic challenges. This is also in addition to several streams of emergency trainings of personnel to beef up the quality and strength of the force so as to enhance its capacity to confront the contemporary security challenges facing the nation. So with your guidance and support, there are significant achievements in the infrastructure within the force. In addition to the central lecture hall that you commissioned today, the institution is also finally building its headquarters in Naguru and will soon commission the construction of a more than 300-bed police hospital in Zambia. In addition, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, through a PPP arrangement, we are hoping to put up 53,000 accommodation units. The institution also intends to install solar gadgets for lighting, drill water for domestic use, and package the same in order to reduce budget expenditures on utilities, support operations, and also participate in production. These efficient measures will save us from the perennial arrears that eat into our budget. Sir, related to the above and in line with your directive, the UPF management is in advanced stages of implementing the sub-county policing model beginning with the Greater Massacre region, where each sub-county will receive a vehicle, motorcycles, radio, and the personnel strength of 18. This has been rolled out in this quarter of this financial year. However, in order to achieve the above, we request for your unflinching support and direction on two service delivery challenges, that is restrictions on the recruitment and the perennial police budget reductions or cuts to the trainees. I congratulate you for the choice you made to pursue a career of service in the Uganda Police Force. You should realize, you should realize that being in the police is an honor and privilege to serve others. Equally, you have accepted to abide by the requirements of exceptional degree of self-discipline, integrity, patriotism, and the exercise of extraordinary justice to our people. The country has invested so much in you, and we expect you to remain healthy and serve our people unreservedly. On this note, I give you my best wishes to serve our country with the pride, honor, loyalty, dignity, courage, and integrity. Finally, I will end this speech by expressing my sincere appreciation once again to Your Excellency, without whose support the training of this batch of trainees 
would not have been possible. With the above remarks, I take this singular honor to invite the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs to give his remarks and thereafter invite Your Excellency. Thank you for listening to me.